Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel of Vasila Built for Speed here and I wanted to make this video just to kind of give an, uh, an update obviously I got a block right there, I got an engine and transmission sitting there but if you guys know, I got the hybrid custom turbo and we were tuning, custom tuning and my engine decided to give in uh, piston rings uh, failed on cylinder 2 and 3 and I have a lot of blow by so I went out and got an engine this engine here is low miles with like 30 or 40 thousand miles on it and uh, the valve seat came out i decided to come out i don't know why um but yeah it got damaged the valve seat uh if you guys want to watch the details on that you can watch my previous video um where i said my engine failed uh you, i have the details and videos exactly what happened on this engine this is uh, from uh, 2015 xc60 v90 engine the same as mine and yeah the pistons i mean the the piston rings the block is in really good shape i checked a few cylinders um on the this block i ordered my rods forged rods already got here i'm waiting for my pistons to get finished right now and we're gonna be ready to assemble but this engine before when i was ordering when i was getting the measurements into the uh Weisco engineers uh to the person i was talking to i had to get measurements i tried to use the let me show you guys these guys right here the bore gauge things or whatever you want to call anyways these right here these are the ones that you insert into the block or the cylinder i mean um and then you get the measurements with um caliper digital caliper that's what i used um but I had them measure my my piston because I sent out my piston and I had them measure it and they're like yeah we don't think so uh, you might want to get a dial bore gauge which is this bad boy right here it looks like this uh, it has a dial so you find the smallest point um, on it so it kind of just kind of find the uh, if you guys want to know how to use this I'm not an expert on teaching you how to use this right now I just I learned myself exactly how to use it well I kind of knew but every well you know different styles of these are a little bit different so you might want to depending on what style you have you might want to find a video that explains how to use these guys there's guys that explain it a lot better than i do but anyways i found the measurements and uh the measurements i'll give right now in a second but what i found it has these um v90 engines which is like 2013 or something in newer engines v90 that's your uh, fourth and fifth digit of your vin number um it's gonna be nine zero. Um, it has the piston to wall gap at point zero zero two of an inch. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys know what I'm gonna look in uh, look it up. What I what my measurements were. I wrote them down uh, for my what I measured in the cylinder and what they measured uh, at the piston uh, at the factory there, a Weisco factory. So, dial board gauge was what I used to find the proper measurements because you kind of and i had to measure it in three spots kind of throw an inch from top and then uh, kind of like here in from the top center and bottom and it was pretty much the same this is like i said this is a 50 to 40 50 000 mile engine so it's perfect from top to bottom is almost identical pretty much measurements but using this it was a little bit difficult trying to you know get it on the tips of the dial board gauge and watching that you know to kind of figure out the, what the measure exact measurement was that was difficult like it took me a good hour to just measure two cylinders it would be much easier if you would have got the actual micro the digital micrometer which is those manual ones but it has a gauge it has a um, one of these on it yeah a gauge on it or um, digital gauge on the top so you don't have to if you if you're not really good with all that you know mechanical stuff you can get one with the gauge it's expensive it's like 300 bucks but it will make my life so much easier but since this is just an engine i don't plan on rebuilding any more engines so i didn't buy it i ended up buying one of these but yeah anyways so yeah i measured the two cylinders uh kind of top center bottom gave the measurements are like yep that confirms it it's 0 0.002 but how i first found out it was 0 0.002 is one of these things this is a really long if you can see like it's pretty much as long as the block itself and i found point, the strip that's 0 0.002 of an inch 
I inserted it into the cylinder and then got my piston like this and then put it in just like that and then I had the strip in there and I was like yep and you want to put the strip right there you see this mark on the piston so you want it when you put the strip on like if you have the strip on the bottom you want it you want this or this mark facing the bottom too kind of so be next to the strip if you have the strip on top you want you want to have it right on top of that mark right there because that's the two marks that you use to measure the piston size so you have it there and i found out it was 0.002 it was really tight so i told them hey it's 0.002 they're like yeah you know you can you can use that to get you know in the range you can see whether it's approximately but this is spot on uh, and using the dial bore gauge confirmed that uh, so if you have one of those you can use that but I mean if you want to be 100% confident and you want to get the actual numbers what the size is um, you can use that or you can just measure the piston and then find out what the uh, you know piston to wall clearance is and then just kind of you know minus the 0 0.002 from or add it to the piston size uh, since the piston to you know to cylinder wall is 0.002 so you just measure the size of the piston add 0.002 and you're gonna get a measurement of the actual uh, cylinder so as you guys can see right here these are my findings 3.229 3.229.5 2, kind of just like that so pretty much yeah they're pretty much identical measurements that's the you know this is a cylinder one that's the cylinder i think on the bottom i used first these two measurements that's in let's say you know like this position i measured it in two positions so let's say two and seven o'clock and then ten and five uh so i did two positions on each cylinder and yeah that's the measurements i got and then the second cylinder we wanted to confirm you know the two at least two cylinders match and that was the measurements of the actual uh uh, cylinder itself and then the piston is 3.227 so right now these are 3.229 uh, the piston itself is right here when you measure from here from this dot to this dot it's uh, 3 3.227 so the, the, the cylinder is 2.229 and the piston itself is 3.227 so that was the measurements of the piston and the cylinder uh, size as you can see i can confirm it right there on the marks and that says 3.227 so that's the piston size and that's right there where the valve seat came out this smacked the piston on top uh, so yeah that confirms it they got it right at my factory they measured it i told them hey can you go in the shop and then measure the size of the piston while you're taking the measurements from me because like i said i use these first these ones where you kind of put it in the cylinder try to lock it I couldn't really get the proper measurement so I had to get the dial bore gauge once I got the dial bore gauge I was able to get it pretty pretty nicely pretty easily get the measurements but like I said if you had the digital micrometer which is the actual micrometer with the gauge on it or with the digital gauge on it, it would be much easier and to people that are wondering what's the digital micrometer it looks like this right here it's an actual micrometer that you kind of just place on both the ends on over here and over here that's where the two this is what what kind of moves and then right here you got to put it on this mark and then here and when you have a digital micrometer like that you can you can kind of clamp it into something and then it's really easy to look to get the measurement off of that but when you have this <laughs> it was a little more difficult trying to squeeze that little tip and then well easier to, on this but that little tip in between the two arms on this digital caliper and then it was kind of hard but i got the right measurements i got the measurements and it did confirm uh yeah it's two thousand of an inch uh the piston to cylinder wall clearance because they need to know that so because they they know what kind of expansion their their pistons go through because they said these performance pistons will expand a little more so they're like yeah we need to make the uh, spacing probably i think they're going to make it 0 0.004 uh, they need to increase the spacing because they said the performance pistons they expand a little more so yeah and i told them to make my piston rings a lot stronger so <laughs> we're gonna have that so we're gonna have pistons forced pistons 
put good piston rings and then forge rods that we already have. I have a few extra sets uh, because I had to order a few because you can't really get one sometimes. Like Vice was great. They allowed me to make one set of piston, but they're gonna have the measurements so you guys can order. So, and one more thing before I go. I know this is gonna be a boring video, but some of you guys, you enjoy it. Um, I designed, I'm, we're designing a, pi a piston that's gonna be a fit for factory block. You're not gonna need to bore it out. Uh, you're not gonna need to put sleeves in it because look, I told, I talked to them, it's like this block is low mileage. Uh, and these Volvo blocks, they don't tend to wear out. The people from that, that know about Volvos, they know the blocks are solid. Um, you still wanna measure them before you order original size pistons to put in it. But if you want four system fit pistons, that they're gonna have the, the original size. So if you guys can make, if you guys want uh, pistons to work for original block without messing with the block, like I'm doing because this is a low mileage block, it's perfect. I'm just getting pistons, putting them in. Because look, the piston wall, yeah, it's a little thicker than a S60R piston wall. The, I mean the sleeves, uh, they're pretty thick here, but look in here, they're a little bit thicker. So they have no uh, cracking issues in between the two sleeves. But imagine if you had to bore it out, you kind of lose that. So you either need to sleeve it if you start boring it out, or you run a risk of cracking it. The same thing what as the older S60Rs were running into. So yeah, I did not want to do that. Uh, so I told them, hey, let's design a piston. You guys have a piston, my original one. So let's design it for factory size block uh, the sleeve. So let's so people can just order pistons, put them in the block. You know, making sure or obviously what that their block is good and then just send it, you know? And so they can get some rods, get some forged pistons and just go with it. You know, you know, they don't need to worry about boring it out. Uh, they don't need to worry about, you know, sleeving it, all that stuff, because that gets expensive. Not a lot of people can afford it, but if people need piston rings, let's say, might as well just get nicer pistons and rods, If especially if it's plug and play type of deal for a factory block. So you just order some pistons, some piston rings from Wisco, put them in, and you go, you're good to go. Because if anybody's gonna rebuild the engine, why use the factory pistons for? Might as well get something nicer, right? Uh, that's how I am at least. And then the rods too, if you can get the rods, get them and send it, you know, now you have a forged engine. Um, they, these engines have no no failure in the block anywhere. There's no, it, like the cooling passages, everything is really nice on this engine. I really like the design of this, the P3 3.0 liter. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I might have made it a little bit boring, but I tried to give you guys as much details as possible. This is just a easy video to keep busy, you know. Um, like I said, I made I also made a uh, Instagram post with uh, from Vida from Volvo the specifications for this engine. So you guys can go to my Instagram. It's in the description of my video. You just click on my Instagram. You can go find the post. You can screenshot the details from factory, like the firing order and all that stuff. Uh, you can find all those details. On the Instagram there so but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know the measurements of the cylinder uh, and the piston itself as the you know the sleeve pretty much the, the size of this and then the size of the piston I'll also put it in the description so if any of you guys don't really speak English uh, I know a lot of people around the world mess uh, you know watch my videos um, so I'm gonna put it in numbers underneath in the description of the video so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as usual, see you next time.